Alright, this is my first test drive with the new Tesla update version 11.4.4. thought I'd do a drive that I normally do and try and just see what any of the differences are. So here we go. Just gonna go grab some coffee, see how it goes. First stop sign. Stopped a little sooner than the previous version did. Um, here's the creek line, looking for visibility, I'm going. These are some rural roads here uh, where I live without lane markings, so it's always interesting to see how it handles um, just based on vision without guidance from any markings. Um, so far, smooth and good. Um, regarding the stop signs, Elon just did a video yesterday actually where he was talking about why the car stops so long at the actual stop sign and he was talking about um, how it basically came down to regulators insisting that that's what the car does when the data they have from the millions of cars shows that actually 0.5% of drivers do a full stop at the stop sign, which sounds about right to me. I mean, I stop at stop signs, but there is a little bit of a roll as you do it. Um, but regulators wouldn't allow that, and we're requiring that full stop. And I think that's why it feels a little bit unnatural, the stops at stop signs, but I guess there's not much to do about that. So just looking at the driving so far. Um, for the most part, this feels a lot like previous version did, except that I'm a little bit farther in the left, and now it's correcting and moving over to the right. Um, previous version, 11.3.6, did really well staying. There's a golf cart in front of us. Let's see how this handles this. Okay, so it sees it. It's recognizing it as a motorcycle on the screen, which is fine. I'll take that. As long as it recognizes it and handles it well, that's okay. He's gonna let us pass and the car is not going to pass. So I may take over here. Yeah, I'm gonna take over just to not be an asshole to this guy. All right, we'll put it back on now. This is the trickiest turn that I've had anywhere on my self-driving videos. Um, so it's stopping here, clearly, I hope you can see it on the camera, there is no visibility here to the left. So it's pulling up farther, but this creep line has typically not been far enough for visibility. Here comes a car. I'm going to stop. Uh, this car here and that car there. There's just not enough visibility at this stop sign, which is a problem. Um, I won't attribute that to the new version because that happened on every previous version as well. There's just not enough room there for visibility. And the only answer is for the car to creep up further than it does. But following the logic, I would say that is difficult to do in that spot because it, um, if you pull up farther, you're kind of technically in the line of traffic, which I can see why the car wouldn't want to do. Um, but if you don't, you don't have visibility. So the only option really is to creep up a little bit farther. Um, and car is basing its decision off of where that creep line is. It's going as far as it thinks it can and then making a decision and going, but it's still not good in that spot. Alright, I'm going to speed up a little bit here. You can change the settings. If you have a Tesla, you know this. If you don't, then you probably don't, but you can change what percentage over the speed limit signs your car goes um, I forget what percentage I put but basically if I'm in a 45 it'll do like 52 um, there will be a couple of points up here to check out and see so we'll just speed this up at this point and I'll show you the other stops
slowing down here because the posted speed limit changed to 40, so it slowed down. I'm doing 46 now. Coming up on a turn here to a small road that will lead to a merge onto a highway. Previously, I took this turn fast and wide. Definitely took it at a better speed. So I'm gonna assume some changes were made to turns in this beta. Again, a road with no lane markings, two-way traffic, it's doing fine. Coming up to a stop sign and then a merge onto a highway, so let's see how that goes. sign it's not creeping here because mm. uh -oh, man. Uh, I had to accelerate there that wasn't good. It pulled out the only problem there was it pulled out there was enough distance with the car behind us this van but it pulled out and was going incredibly slow like it was still making a decision while the van was coming at 60 miles an hour so that wouldn't have been okay. And if I'm being honest, the previous version, 11.3.6, handled that spot better. Um, all right, now we're coming up here to this Wawa. Um, that's where I'm going. It's gonna pass the entrance, which was right there. And it's done this before. It pulls into the exit, which is not okay. So I'm gonna take over there too. All right, so not a lot of improvement so far that's visible to me on 11.4.4. Um, I would say the positives so far are acceleration seems smoother from a turn and a stop and the speed at which it handles a turn seems better. Uh, stop signs seem maybe slightly worse. Um, and then pulling out, merging into high-speed traffic, there's still an issue where it pauses, making a decision after it's already committed to going into the turn, still just moving a little bit too slow. Um, that's it for now. Let's see what happens on the next one.